Coach, congrats on the number two seed. Let's talk about how big of a deal that is for you, for the program, for the community to, to host a, a Big West conference tournament game. You know, it, it's, a, it's a huge deal. You know, we didn't expect it. You know, when uh, Northridge went over and played Irvine, uh, all Irvine needed was a tie uh, to jump ahead of us, and Northridge did us a favor and, and beat them 3 nothing. So, um, you know, it's massive because we play so well at home. We, we, we we're happy to have another game here for people to enjoy, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to Wednesday. Uh, talk about Irvine. I know you guys went down there earlier this year and, and lost. Kind of, what's the game plan this week to to get a different result? Well, they're they're a very good team. You know, um, right now I think they're ranked twentieth in the nation. Um, good attacking team. You know, they have two very good forwards. Um, they have probably probably the most special uh, midfielder I would say in the West region in Irving Garcia. So we're going to have to be very sharp defensively. Um, and I think, uh, you know, we're going to have to score at least uh, one or two goals for sure, you know, uh, probably two goals to get the result that we want. So, um, you know, it's a matter of doing what Cal Poly does well and what we, what we uh, train every day. We have to be disciplined in defense. We have to be urgent in our transition and, and uh, try to be as dynamic as we can in attack. How much of an extra boost does scoring a home match when, you know, that was up in the air and, you know, we talked all year about how, tough preseason, tough opponents, and you guys were all focused on, on this point, and here we are. Here you guys have a chance to, to play at home and, and get into that NCAA tournament automatically. Just how much more of a boost in your step does, does that get? You know, it, we started the season off 0-4. And, and, you know, we had gone on the road and played, I think, three top 25 teams, and, you know, we kept saying uh, that, you know, this was preparation for the Big West. And, you know, our team is, is resilient and tough. And uh, the guys uh, uh, just, you know, picked everything up uh, throughout the course of the season. That's what good teams do. You know, we didn't, we didn't put our tail between our legs and go and, you know, quit on the season. We, we kept fighting. And um, it started with that first Big West win at Fullerton. We won in overtime. David Zamora scored a great goal uh, to win that game. And that... Uh, that was a little bit of a catalyst for, for rejuvenating this team. Um, now you have uh, basically a new season. You know, this is a new season. Uh, we have to take care of Wednesday. That's all we're focused on. We're not even concerned with Saturday. Put everything you can into one game, Wednesday night. And, um, you know, we'll talk about uh, the final, hopefully after that. Hey, Coach, you kind of just t touched on what I was going to ask. You know, 0-4 on September the 13th. Uh, how surprised would you have been if we would have told you, hey, you're going to host a, a tournament, Big West tournament game uh, in, you know, mid-November? And, and what does it really say about the guys that they're able to put that start away and, and do what they've done? Well, it says a lot about the guys, you know, um, a lot of character on the team and a lot of guys uh, uh, don't take losing lightly on this team. Um, you know, I, I could have told you that we, we had a chance to be here. But I, I know, you know, I can look at an 0-4 record and, and know who we played and where we played them. So I understand. You know, we're playing at Creighton, the number, you know, 14 team in the nation at the time. Um, you know, 1-0 result was a, a great result for us, a very good result. But we got a, a loss on the scorebook. But um, I knew we had a good team, and I knew we would get better. You guys are so dominant at home. I mean, how – Important it is for you guys to have like a big crowd, hopefully, and and have that that spirit, that that Mustang spirit, the Manglers out. And I mean, how important is it really to have, for you guys to have, you know, not just playing inside Spano Stadium, but just to really have that big crowd behind you as well? It, it's massive. It's massive. You know, I I want to I want to put a call out to the whole Central Coast and tell them to come out in full force. You know, I'd love to see five to ten thousand people out there. You know, why not come out and enjoy a great game? And uh, you know, it's you know, like, I, like I've been saying to these guys before, they play for more than just themselves. They play for more than even just Cal Poly. They play for the community. And uh, there is no better place to play college soccer than in Alex G. Spano Stadium. There's no better place. There's no better environment. The fans are right on top of you. Um, I mean, it's thunderous. It's like an English Premier League game. So, you know, um, you know it, it's fun. It's fun to come to a great game like that when the stands are packed. Paul, can you recall your own personal record about playing a team a second time in a season after you've lost to them the first time? 
Uh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's always good to play a team twice, and it's good to play a team uh, again that you've lost to. Um, last year we lost to UCLA, you know, about eight days before we played them in the playoffs, and we made adjustments, and we were able to to, to learn some things from that first loss. Um, UC Irvine is going to come, you know, guns a blazing on Wednesday night. That's that's what I'm sure of. You know, they're going to come flying. Um, I think they know now that uh, they're on the outside looking in, like us, as far as the NCAA playoffs. I think our only chance into the NCAA playoffs is to win the Big West tournament. That's our only chance. Um, and uh, so it's you know it's a win or go home for probably both teams. Knowing that it's win or go home for both teams, and that that's pretty much your only shot at getting in the NCAA tournament. I mean, what does that what does that put on the team? What kind of uh, mentality does that put on you guys? It, you know, it's like it, it's like the NCAA playoffs. You know, um, you know our guys are motivated, our guys are pumped up. You know, we're gonna we're gonna come out there and play with passion. You know, I have no doubts about that. If you want to just go into you know the one-two loss against UCI on uh, October 21st, what was the biggest thing you saw from them that you want to make an adjustment and kind of attack on the field coming up uh, Wednesday? Well, um, you know, I, we still have a lot of things to work on as a team. There's no doubt. We we were up one-zero in that game in halftime. Patrick Sigler scored a great goal on a on a set piece. We went into a different formation. Um, and, you know, I don't think it was the reason why we lost the game, but, uh, you know, um, maybe we didn't take that formation and, and add the right mentality to it and, and attack um, with a lead. You know, sometimes, you know, they, they say, you know, the best uh, defense is a good attack, and maybe we needed to stick with two forwards up top instead of one. And, um, you know, either way, we should have won the game. You know, uh, I think our team needs to be tactically mature enough to win games in different ways, and I think we'll get there. But uh, you know, our 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 goal, you know, especially at home, is to attack, right, and to go at UC Irvine. Will there be any experimentation like that come Wednesday? I mean, switching up the formations that mostly an on game, an in game kind of call. And if you if you notice something, on the I think field. there's always room for, uh, you know. Real game decisions, real time decisions. I can't tell you what those are. You know, um, we're we're flexible. You know, we, we have a style that we like to play. You know, in the four four two, uh, with two front runners and an attacking and defensive midfielder. And I think we're comfortable in that. But, you know, these guys have played two or three different styles, and and uh, I think we have to always leave that that open. Thank you, coach. Yep.